Hello, this is Group 9's first episode of Finger Puppet TV. Our show is called Scales of Justice, and this episode is Case 1, A Sudden Sentence. The episode begins with a quote, as all will, The liberties of none are safe unless the liberties of all are protected. That was by William O. Douglas, Supreme Court Justice. Our, K our story begins with Nathan Noble, who is a fresh lawyer right out of law school. He is attending his very first case in court as the new member, newest member of Scales of Justice. Um, he's very nervous, and he's ready to get this started. His mentor for this case is Jennifer Justice, who is a senior, somewhat senior member of the Scales of Justice law firm. Uh, she will be walking him through uh, the case and helping them pull out another win for the firm. The scene begins with Justice saying, Go ahead, Noble. Present our evidence so we can finish this case and secure another win for guilt and scales of justice. Noble, um, I can't. Justice, what do you mean you can't? The judge won't wait forever. Hurry up and shake the way the nerves and get on with it. Noble, I mean, I literally can't. The evidence isn't here. Noble scrambles to the papers he did bring hopelessly. Justice, what do you mean it isn't there? Noble, I must have left it with Stacy at the evidence depository. Flashback scene. Don't forget this. The evidence is still sitting there. Noble, oh crap, what are we going to do? Without that, our case is going to up in smoke. Justice, no it's not. All, when all else fails, a good lawyer uses rational decision-making to find the best alternative when another one closes. Now think, what are our options? Noble. Well, there are several options we could pursue. We could ask the judge to wait a second while we go get it. Think harder. The judge looks annoyed as it is, and what else can we do? This is what separates a good lawyer from a great lawyer. Well, we know what the evidence was and can still use that to our advantage. Go on. If we pressure the defendant's statement where we know the lie is, we could get them to confess. We, this would win the case for us without needing the physical evidence here. Great, that fits all the criteria that, would that we need to win this case. Let's implement that decision together and close the case. So the two actually implemented this decision and ended up getting a confession from the defendant. The case was won and the scales of justice the law firm remained undefeated. Before that, after that, a final scene sets up episode two where a shadowy figure is seen in the evidence depository stealing the evidence that was needed for this case.